timeline of when these things are supposed to be done. That's a pretty powerful feature built right into SharePoint. Okay, let's take a look at some of our options for our calendar. If you want a calendar, calendar just for your team, I've got that over here. And it has all the standard features we've looked at so far, you know, the RSS feed and the alerts. Um, a, let's see. Uh, you know, and it's searchable. You can edit it in, uh, let's see, well, you can export it to the spreadsheet. You can connect to an outlook just like we did with the contacts. Uh, I think I've already had it connected here. And, and there's our SharePoint uh, calendar right there. Let's see, example team calendar right there. And again, it's read only, but you can still see, you can see it there in Outlook. Okay. Um, it's also possible to also show your Exchange calendar on the SharePoint site. Each team member can have, like if they want to have their Exchange calendar or their tasks or any of their folders in Exchange, they can actually have them in their Outlook. They can actually have them show up here um, on their SharePoint page um, if you have Outlook web access set up. Okay. Um, and there's also, the, uh, similar to when we talked about, uh, if you have a really important uh, document, we have document workspaces. There's also meeting workspaces you can set up. If you have an important meeting that has lots of things set up with it, you can create a subsite for it um, where you can collect things like your objectives, uh, what your agenda is going to be, documents that you'll need for that meeting, um, who's going to be attending and who's not going to be attending. Um, I haven't, we haven't gotten into using any of those yet, but just to show you that that's available. Um, and let's see, there's, if you need a, uh, announcements for your team, if you need a separate set of announcements than what I have on the home page, um, you've, you've got that here on the home page, and that has all the, the standard features we've seen in all the other lists and everything. Um, there's also links, is another pre-built uh, list if you want to store, let's see, that's actually going to take me to Columbia County Job and Family Services. It's just a database for different websites, different links that your team might want to know about. And you can set that up so it can show on your home page if you want to, or if they have to go into it on the list over here. Um, let's take a look at um, discussion boards, or, uh, similar to the forums or listservs that you've seen on other websites. Um, and let's see, what's your favorite donut was the discussion that we had here, and there's all the different replies. You can show you a little, you know, who replied what there. Uh, mostly me, the administrator, uh, and kind of indented like that. Um, and you can um, you can work with these through emails like that email archive that I showed you earlier. You can send an email to your group. It goes into that archive. That's actually a, oops, that's actually a, a discussion board. Um, so you can do discussions all through email, and it'll kind of archive it all there on your discussion board on your website. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our wiki here. Um, SharePoint comes with a, a basic wiki that's kind of your uh, extensible, um, easily extensible knowledge base if you want to think of where all of your team members can easily edit this, hit, hit the edit button, and they can make any changes they want to it. Or they can create new pages using the brackets here. If they want to extend it, they just create a new page. And they go to that page, and then they start typing in new stuff. It's a good way to collect kind of uh, free-form knowledge about different paint things that your team might want to know. It doesn't create, it doesn't require a lot of training to figure out how to put stuff in and how to how to add stuff. Um, and it has all the standard features, of course. Uh, you know, it has a history. Um, you can get alerts and RSS and search and uh, approval and things like that. Um, and then the SharePoint also has a blog. Uh, if you want to set up a blog for your team or just for yourself as the team leader, you know, blogs are kind of a sequential diary. Uh, found them good for uh, minutes from your team meeting, for example, is kind of the stuff that we have right here. Um, you can create posts right here on the website. I can create a new post. I can also email a post. I can set up an email address for my blog and just email a post to it. Um, that's an easy way to get graphics into your blog, I found. Uh, Office 2007, uh, Microsoft Word 2007, comes with a blogging feature that connects directly to SharePoint as well. Um, and, of course, you can add comments to your blogs. Let's see, there are some comments that we add. And you can turn on approval for the comments, so you can moderate the comments. Um, and, you know, there's the, the archive. You can go back and look through all your old posts. Um, let's see. And look at the calendar, you know, when you posted things. Lots of, lots of cool stuff like that. And there's categories for your blog as well, so you can so 
you know, associate your, you know, there's just, just the blog post that had to do with meeting notes. Um, so it's a pretty, a pretty uh, basic blog there. Um, oops. Let's go back and look at a couple more things here. Uh, let's take a look at surveys. One of the things you can do, you can create for your team uh, surveys. Well, let's just go ahead and respond to this sample survey I set up. This asks you different questions. What's my favorite color? Uh, how much would you spend for a really good hamburger? What's your favorite day of the year? Um, you can, all, all types of different questions. You can have rating scales. How much do I enjoy the seasons? You know, enter, enter text, things like that. Um, and you can, you can set up an un unlimited number of questions. You can have branching logic in there if they responded this way, have them then answer this kind of questions, or you know, if they responded the other way, answer this set of questions. Um, so it's, it's got a, some, a good bit of power in there, but it, it gets a little complex if you want to do lots of branching logic. So if it gets too big, it's, 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 uh, it gets a little hard to manage if you want to get real big. Um, you can view your responses here with little graphs of how many people, you know, how people responded to different things. So it does, it does, it is, it is gives you some, some pretty nice ways to do internal surveys. Um, okay. And let's, one last thing I want to talk about here is uh, custom lists. You've seen all these different features that we have here, the contacts and the links and the announcements. Um, those are all uh, preset types of lists. The SharePoint likes to call them lists. They're kind of set up for you. You can create your own list your own database if you want to with your own, just your own fields and your own views. That's one of the things I created here, I created this little notes list. Um, just a way to add free form notes. And it just has a few fields that I put in here, just a title and a body, and then I set up a couple of categories that I want. Um, and I can add other categories in there, I can do different views. Um, let's see, that's a view I set to look at them by category. Um, so you, you can create your own lists of to, to keep track of whatever kind of stuff you want. So it's pretty, and all those features that we've seen all along come right with it. You can edit them, you know, data sheet, export them, RSS, alerts, all that, all that stuff that we've seen. You know, I can do versions and approval. All those features we've seen throughout SharePoint, you can use those on your own custom list that you set up for yourself. Okay. And there's a couple other things I want to talk about that I don't have set up to show you on here. Um, one type of uh, feature that SharePoint has that I haven't shown you are, are form libraries, similar to document libraries. They work with InfoPath forms. InfoPath is one of the lesser known applications that comes with Microsoft Office. Uh, it lets you fill out forms online. You can submit them, send them to different people, do different workflows with them. Um, and if you have the, the enterprise version of SharePoint, you can actually fill out the forms online. It'll actually look like a web page filled out. Eventually, you want to go there, but we haven't, that's a, a, a fancy thing we haven't gotten to yet. Um, and those forms also relate to one of the other powerful features of SharePoint that we haven't gotten into using yet, which are workflows, uh, which allows you to have a, 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 a set um, flow of things that happen to your documents or information. You can submit a document. And you have it set up so it goes to the supervisor and they have to, you know, recommend approval or denial. And then they hit, and it goes to the next stage or it might go to the executive director and they approve or deny it. And then it might go back to the original user. You could use those workflows for things like um, requests for leave of absences or expense reports, things like that. that have to go through a certain chain of people. Uh, eventually we're going we're gonna to start using that, but that, that takes a little bit of development that we haven't gotten into. Um, Let's see some of the other things we didn't we didn't talk about. Um, let's see sub well we talked about subsites um, a little bit with those um, document workspaces and meeting workspaces. You can kind of create sub teams or sub projects if you want to. Um, that's kind of like those document workspaces. We have that set up on our our technology team. Uh, we've got little sub team sites for them for our website for our Facebook uh, for Legal Aid Connect. You know, those sub-sites can have their own little set of features directed around that project. Um, a couple other things, there's every site has a recycle bin, and actually a two-stage recycle bin. Uh, people delete stuff that goes into the recycle bin, and then when you update the recycle bin, it goes into an administrator's recycle bin, so they can rescue things. Uh, SharePoint also has mobile features, so you can view.